I'm so dedicated to my destination. I'ma get it how I live it with no hesitation. See me making moves and all this training proof so that I'm possible. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on our MLXT YouTube channel and we're going to go ahead and continue our series on looking behind the scenes of our workouts. In this workout, we're going to be looking at the concept of repeatable footwork and you're going to get a behind the scenes look of a workout that's working on the ability to just simply repeat techniques of our feet. Not bad. Solid right there. Nice. Now, when you're looking at this from a game situational perspective, it might not make a whole lot of sense because what we're gonna do is we're gonna rep things out. We're gonna do things too much. We're gonna be going right, right back into left, right into right, going right into left. So we're gonna be dancing in place. And a lot of times repeatable footwork, or I should say repetitious workouts, get a bad rep because people are constantly always trying to push it towards a game situation. And obviously we know you're not gonna do 20 crossovers in one spot. That would not be game-like. But if you're able to do those repetitions, what you're able to show yourself is that you have the control, the skills, and the techniques required. And so if I'm gonna give you a challenging set of footwork like we're gonna do in this workout, what I wanna be able to see you do is put that on repeat, put it on a loop. And if you can do that, now we know you're in control over your techniques, you're in control over your body, you have the skills, so then we're actually gonna relate it to a game situation or a game moment later when you only have to perform it once, we know that your body can pull it off. So if the ball's already down, now the ball's coming to your pocket as you hit. Now you're already ready to go. There it is. Yep. Marcus, not an inside out. Just turn the ball down. Hit, back. Repeatable footwork means accountability. And accountability is a big part of our training and skill enhancement. So even though now we're moving on to a different topic, we're gonna be working on fadeaways with Marcus and Ali here. One thing that we're gonna be holding them accountable to is where they land. And so a lot of times when you do a fadeaway, players can do it very randomly because we're giving them open space. But the game is not very random. The game has very deliberate space. When you get to a certain spot of the floor, and that's the op only open area of the floor that's available, you better first be able to get to that area. Second, you better know the open area in which you can jump to. If you're gonna fade away, you need to fade away into an open area of the floor, not only where the floor is available, but where the angle is available to hit the shot. And so now we're gonna actually make them really think about where they're going to land, which now shows us that they're accountable over their body movements, but also we're giving them realistic distraction. A defender is a distraction. If someone's in my face, that's a distraction. So even though I'm not giving them that, by forcing them to think about where they're landing, I'm not only working on their ability to control themselves, but I'm also distracting an element of the shot that will correlate to the game in a different way later. So this is how we would work on accountability within a fadeaway. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I wanna just focus on your ability to stop from the spot, land on that spot. So wherever I place your fade is just simply where the space in the air is available to you. Uh, almost. Get back to it. Nice. 
Get back. Yeah. That was it. Give me that. Good. And that wraps up another behind the scenes look at our workout on repeatable footwork and spatial accountability. Whenever we're doing these workouts, my main thing is I want you to better understand the reasons and the emphasis behind what we're doing. Because if you're looking at it from the wrong perspective, it's not going to make sense. If you like these types of workouts, you wanna see more, make sure you do two things. Make sure you like these videos and you comment and we will do our best to answer your questions and engage with you. And of course, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that right now and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next one. We're gonna be bringing you another one exactly at this time next week. So make sure you're staying plugged in to the MLXT YouTube channel. I'm so dedicated to my destination. I'ma get it how I live it with no hesitation See me making moves and all this training proves that I'm possible